super implies that it is a significant upgrade on the regular version of whatever thing the prefix is attached to. Superman, a huge improvement over regular man. Super Mario Brothers, well, no one's making a video game about the Mario Brothers. And then you have Super Size, obviously a upgrade, a very big upgrade on the regular size. Super Wildcard Weekend though? Well, for starters, Wildcard Weekend stop existing after 2019. And the only real difference between the Super version of Wildcard Weekend and the traditional variety is two additional games, most of which feature teams that have no business in the postseason to begin with. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, this year we get a Peacock exclusive game. What a victory for fans that is. Let's just call it what it really is. NFL Super Cash Grab Wild Card Weekend. Come on, there is not anything super about that. I'm Cheyenne Hollis, this is The Touchback, and today we're talking about why Super Wild Card Weekend does not exist. Where exactly did Super Wild Card Weekend come from anyway? Well, in 2020, the owners and their insatiable need to grub for money introduced an additional playoff spot to bring the playoff field to 14 teams overall, or 7 per conference. This was met with tepid indifference from fans who didn't really feel either was necessary or an improvement on what already existed. Of course, NFL owners have never been ones to care about what fans actually want to see. The extra inventory of games meant millions upon millions of more dollars into their already busty bank accounts. Now, in order to get people hyped for something they didn't want or necessarily ask for, some genius in the NFL marketing office simply decided, hey, why don't we just stick the word super in front of Wildcard Weekend? The issue about this from the very beginning back in 2020 is that there isn't necessarily much super about Super Wildcard Weekend. I mean, sure, there was a Monday night playoff game, but that's hardly revolutionary or better than what existed in the previous playoff structure. Then when the playoffs actually started, you looked over at the NFC. Not only did you have a 7-9 Washington football team hosting a playoff game because of the NFL's really just dumb divisional rules, but also sneaking in was an 8-8 eight eight Chicago Bears side that clinched their spot with a 35-16 loss against the Green Bay Packers. By the way, that Bears team would get absolutely throttled by the New Orleans Saints in the first round, but that game is probably best remembered for Jimmy Graham scoring a walk-off garbage time touchdown that had absolutely zero meaning. He walked out the field. I vividly remember the, the announcers of this game saying, well, that might be Jimmy Graham's final play in the NFL. Oh yeah, about that. Anyway, you know, had the NFL simply reverted back to the wildcard weekend moniker after that first expanded go around, I wouldn't have had a problem with it. You know, I get why they, they wanted to rebrand it that first year to bring in some buzz and some excitement, and I could let that slide. Really, it was just to emphasize the fact that the format was different. But going in the year two, everyone was aware of 17 games, seven playoff teams. It wasn't new. It wasn't super. It certainly wasn't super. We all got the point. There was really no longer a need to constantly remind football fans about the contrived changes you had made a year previously. Of course, owners did not see it that way. Instead, the NFL leaned into the Super Wildcard Weekend branding anymore, and the results were, well, anything but super. In 2021, the two seventh-seeded sides were the Philadelphia Eagles and Pittsburgh Steelers. Neither should have been anywhere near the postseason. Those Philadelphia Eagles would trail 31-0 heading into the fourth quarter of their matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As for the Pittsburgh Steelers, well, they just got boat raced by the Kansas City Chiefs 42-21. Last season saw the NFC continue its trend of not having six, let alone seven, teams worthy to qualify for the postseason. Tampa Bay won the NFC South with an 8-9 record, while the Seattle Seahawks nabbed the final playoff spot finishing 9-8. Both sides were then promptly swept out of the playoffs by far superior opposition. What makes Super Wild Card Weekend so super this time around? Well, more mediocre NFC teams? Oh wait, I forgot, that's right, we're getting a Peacock exclusive television game. That's right, a postseason contest behind a streaming paywall. That is certainly super, super uncool. 
What really gets my goat about the whole super wild card week and branding and name and all of that jive stuff is the fact we don't have a regular wild card weekend anymore. That does not exist. That is not coming back. The regular wild card weekend was simply replaced with this quote unquote super version of wild card weekend. But the NFL isn't giving fans a super version of wild card weekend. They simply replaced it. Under this logic the NFL is using here, the league could have called those replacement referees in 2012 super refs and been done with it. I mean, that's really the sort of train of thought here. However, we're all smarter than that. We know something being different does not make it super. Even in this day and age, that is something I think most folks can agree upon. Here's the deal. If you like the new format of Wildcard Weekend, or you're one of those folks who just always says more football games are better, so be it. I know I do not like the seven playoff team system we have now, but I can accept it as reality. I can accept it if that is what we are going to get if we want to watch professional football. But don't shove it down fans' throats as super wildcard weekend when we can all see nothing about it is super in the slightest. What we have here is simply a different version of wildcard weekend. Some people may think it's better, others may think it's worse, but I don't think anyone among those who follow the sport of professional football would constitute this as super. All things considered, I think everyone can agree that Super Wildcard Weekend doesn't actually exist. And no, not in that stupid Rene Descartes candle in a room thought exercise nonsense. I mean, in the reality of what exists is actually just Wildcard Weekend with some stupid NFL branding slapped on it. By the way, come on NFL, you spend millions upon millions of dollars in marketing and that's the best your brain trust in that department can come up with? Calling something super wildcard weekend? Why even spend that money in the first place on all of these marketing people if they can't actually find a better way to promote and connect with fans? Also, stop with the fucking Peacock game already. This is the playoffs. This is the postseason. This is the most important time of the NFL season. Do not piss away visibility and upset fans so NBC can churn over a few more subscribers in a month's time. Thank you for watching this video. Of course, that is if you actually exist. A question that no one can really answer. Thank you, Rene Descartes. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about what the real tradition of the Pittsburgh Steelers is, well, check out the video right there. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis. This is The Touchback. And as always, hashtag take it out to the 25.